Oh, okay. So I think we are live, Dr. Amit. Um, what we'll do is we'll just wait for five to ten seconds to, you know, just wait for a few more audiences to join in, and then we can start this amazing uh, session with everybody. Sure, yeah? Toina. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Great. So we'll just give it like a five to ten seconds, and then we can just start the discussion. Sure. Okay. Okay. So I see a few people coming in. Great. Okay. Okay, great. I think, uh, you know, I see a lot of people jumping in and I, I think so I think we can just start this session. So uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us again for this live session. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, so in the last few sessions, we have interacted with Dr. Shreya, Dr. Moral, and Dr. Nandara. They helped us understand about laser hair reduction and answered all our questions around the same. So this session was, these sessions were very informative and they helped educate a lot of us about laser hair reduction and the facts related to it. Uh, so as we discussed last time, we love to take care of ourselves and have our monthly rituals, so waxing, facials, hair and spa, right? But with the busy schedule we all have at home and at work, we keep going back to waxing, shaving, razor, threading, etc., right? All the, all the painful methods. So even though we are busy, we have to take time out for these sessions, for these methods, which are frequent but painful as well. Uh, so therefore... But with the help of laser hair reduction as a process, it has become very easy to get rid of these monthly sessions and be wardrobe ready every day. But there are certain myths that, you know, women have um, in their mind regarding this. Uh, even I have certain questions around the same. So therefore, in today's session, we are back with another webinar. And this time we have Dr. Amit with us. Uh, he will help us bust all the myths around laser hair reduction. And he will also help us understand the process a little better. But before I move into that, I would like to remind everyone uh, the way we have done in our previous live sessions. Um, we have a very special giveaway uh, for this session. Um, I know a lot of you have a lot of questions around it. But if you use the hashtag, you see laser lounge along with your question. There is an exciting gift um, from laser hair, from Urban Company Laser Hair Reduction for you, right? So keep pouring in those questions and tag it along with hashtag UC Laser Lounge. Yeah. So moving on to the section. So uh, Dr. Amit Kharkanis uh, is a dermatologist with 18 years of experience in skin and laser treatments. He is also the skincare expert for Femina Miss India for the last decade. So ladies, I think that's amazing. So welcome, Dr. Amit. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Great. Okay, so I think we'll just dive into the discussion. Uh, so, Doctor, last time we had had a discussion at length about laser hair reduction with Dr. Monal and Dr. Nentara. Uh, but for, you know, the benefit of our audience, can you briefly take us through uh, laser hair reduction and the process around it? Yeah, sure. You know, laser hair removal is a very simple and painless way of getting rid of the unwanted hair. So primarily uh, to understand exactly what a laser hair reduction is, you know, laser is a light and it's a basically it's a concentrated beam of light and it always is attracted towards a dark object. So the basis of laser hair removal is actually the hair is darker than your skin. So the amount of mm -hmm. energy which requires to target hair is a lot lesser than it affects the skin. So with laser okay. hair removal, uh, you know, with a series of sessions, which are normally between six to nine sessions, we can achieve like an 85 to 90 percent permanent hair reduction. Uh, it's a very, very convenient way, you know, of getting rid of unwanted hair because, you know, as you know, all females especially, I think, are constantly go undergoing waxing, threading, and numerous mechanisms to get rid of the hair, right? So I think Correct. they don't like hair in, in uh, unwanted spaces. So the idea is that today it's very possible to just get rid of it. Uh, that's okay. essentially what laser hair removal is. Okay. That's very interesting, Doctor, how far technology has actually come in, right? Starting from, you know, we had our vaccine and we had epilators, which were painful methods. But now with laser hair reduction, uh, which is not only a little less painful or painless, actually, but is also almost permanent. So that is that is great to hear. It's very interesting. Okay, Doctor um, uh, Amit. Uh, so the, I think uh, let's move on to the myths. I think we've now fairly understood about what laser hair reduction is. And I'm sure a lot of our audiences also will ask a few questions around it. But let us, you know, get into the myths and go around and bust them. Uh, so I have selected few myths, which I've realized are quite popular amongst women. And certain myths are also mine, actually. Uh, so I think we'll start with the first one. So uh, the first myth is, does the hair growth thickens after laser hair reduction? 
Absolutely not. Uh, laser hair removal is proven and it's, you know, it started in the 90s where laser hair removal actually first came out. Then there was another explosion in 2004 or 5 when numerous machines and numerous technology advanced. And now it's available at your own house. So Urban Company does it at your own house. Uh, when you do a laser hair removal, there's absolutely no question of the hair growing thicker post it. It's a very simple procedure. So when a partner comes home, essentially the hair is shaven off in the area where we're going to target it. Then the procedure is done. And then you see the reduction every time you do a session. So there is absolutely no chance of the hair growing thicker for any rhyme or reason post a session. Okay, okay. So okay, so actually our hair does not grow thicker, uh, doctor. If I'm correct, it grows thinner, right? Exactly. That's the only reason why you would choose to do a laser hair removal, right? So so that the okay. hair becomes thinner and thinner and ultimately it goes off. Understood, understood. That's very interesting. So ladies, as Dr. Uh, Amit did point out that, you know, now you can get the service done at home with Urban Company. So what we have done is we have pinned the link to the Urban Company app uh, in our comment section. Please go through the application. You'll find, uh, you know, you'll land straight to the Urban Company laser hair reduction page. All your questions will answer get answered there and you can just you know go and choose the body part you want to start this journey with great okay uh, okay dr abit so the next question is um that uh, the next myth is you know does laser hair reduction have any side effects on your skin uh, absolutely not um, so nowadays you know the lasers have progressed a long way since they initially came in as technology hmm. advances, and main is the safety aspect, right? Because when you want to do hmm. any cosmetic procedure, safety is paramount. Uh, hmm. All the machines at Urban Company, which we use, are all USFDA approved. And USFDA hmm. basically is a, is a tag of safety. Um, the Indian FDA approves it. So essentially, safety is paramount in all the treatments which we do. Uh, the laser does not have any side effects. Any transient side effects like, you know, like, uh, maybe a little redness or something which might come post a session would normally settle off the same day itself. Uh, so we have a team of doctors who's essentially involved in a customer's journey throughout. So essentially, when you choose to do a laser hair removal with Urban Company at home, what happens is one doctor is there throughout your journey. So when you do and you choose to do six to eight sessions at home, the same doctor basically tracks your journey and maintains a complete record. So there's no question of any side effects and essentially pause the sessions and every session you'll go on seeing a hair reduction. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, so there, so doctor, as you pointed out, it's I think a relief to hear that there are no side effects to laser hair reduction. You know, there is certain this is one of the myths that keeps popping up. Um, and as you clearly mentioned, I think it's very important to have someone you can rely with too. So I think the fact that you mentioned that Urban Company has doctors who will be part of the journey from the very beginning really, you know, uh, makes this journey even more simpler and e even more easier, right? So I think um, everyone in the audience. Uh, you know, I think you should go and check out the app. Uh, we have, as as doctor mentioned, that Urban Company has uh, the dermatologist as well. So, you know, I, I think they have everything and, and it happens at the convenience of your home. So I think nothing can be really better than that. You have your doctor, you have the best machines. Um, it, it is almost permanent. And then you have doctors helping you out through the journey. Great. Um, let's, I think what we'll do is, doctor, I see a lot of questions coming in from the audience. So I think let's pick up a few questions um, uh, from audience right now. Okay, so uh, Dr. Savita Goyal's question is, is laser hair reduction recommended if I'm on certain medications? So quite an interesting question. Um, so, you know, it will really depend and it's customized. And that's why we have doctors involved at Urban Company when you start the journey. So all these mm. questions are taken on an individual level. Uh, mm. Normally speaking, there should not be, there are very, very few medications which might interfere with the hair removal process. And, hmm. you know, so that is done and that is discussed with you in the consultation. But normally, hmm. you know, it should not really be a problem if you're on certain medications. So the medications continue the same way they are, the same way that other doctors have advised you and you go ahead with your sessions. Okay, got it, got it. So doctor, as you mentioned, there might be very few medications uh, uh, that would be needed, but I think speak with your doctor and that would be helpful. So I think, uh, Savita, you can go to the Urban Company app, have a conversation with the dermatologist and, you know, just let them know your history about the medication and I think they'll be able to help and solve. But as I think doctor pointed out, it's not the case with most medications. So I think that's good news. Okay, uh, let's pick the next question. 
Okay, the next question is from Anshu. Uh, the question is, does laser hair reduction alter one's skin complexion? Uh, it does not. In fact, you know, uh, there have been numerous cases where people have dark underarms, right? And a hmm. lot of hmm. times we feel that it's the continuous action of uh, waxing those areas which lead to the darkness in those areas. So, in fact, hmm. a laser hair removal actually helps in improving complexion at times in certain cases. Uh, but the laser is very safe, like I said. So there is no question of it altering one's complexion for the worse. If anything, okay. it will help, you know, darker areas to get a little better. Also, there is a condition called folliculitis, where basically there are these razor bumps or these bumps, you know, around the hair follicles, which come a lot of times post-waxing. So in fact, okay. laser removal is a treatment for that. So laser removal is something which takes care of this condition and improves your skin. Okay, great, great, great. Uh, uh, Anshu, I think as doctor pointed out, uh, there are more benefits than there are to, you know, any side effects to laser hair reduction. So if your skin complexion is darker in certain places, as the doctor said, in underarms because of waxing or because of using uh, removal hair removal creams, I think laser hair reduction, as the doctor said, would actually help to get it lighter. So no fear over there about any change in the complexion of, um, uh, you know, our skin. Okay, uh, I think let's move on to the set of questions I have, uh, you know, listed down and then we could, you know, go ahead and uh, pick up more audience questions. Okay, so the next question, Dr. Amit, is that uh, the next myth actually is, is laser hair reduction painful? Because, you know, waxing is painful. Uh, so is laser hair reduction painful? You know, initially when laser came uh, almost 25, 30 years back, uh, the settings were, the laser technology was a lot different. And that time people used to get like a pinprick sensation when we are doing it. Today we use something called like a moving mode in the laser and urban company at home, we specially use this customized mode. So in that, what happens the laser energy used is very, very less, but it is used multiple times. So essentially it's an amount of total energy which we deliver. So it's actually now become like a painless procedure. It's actually like a warm massage, which a client might feel uh, as compared to any pain. Of course, you know, for a very sensitive person, they might just perceive like a smile, pinprick or sensation or something like that. But but for all practical purposes, it's today it's a painless procedure. Okay, okay, great. That's great to hear. So, uh, okay, so it, so doctor, as you mentioned, initially when the technology was new, uh, it was, you could feel a little bit of prickly sensation. But as you mentioned now with the way the technology has advanced and how Urban Company is using, as you as you mentioned, the USFD approved machines, um, it's not painful anymore. So that's great to hear. Something which is permanent is something which is painless. Uh, so that's, that's great to hear. Okay. Um, ladies, uh, I know you've been, you know, posting questions, uh, but please do use the hashtag you see laser lounge with your question. Um, if you do that, you get a chance to win 10% uh, off on their laser hair reduction services. So please go ahead and, uh, you know, post your questions along with UC laser lounge and do uh, check out their uh, application. Uh, the link is pinned in the comment. Okay, great. Uh, so moving on to the next uh, uh, question, doctor, is that laser hair reduction can remove the hair growth completely in one session, permanently. So a lot of women think like this, doctor. Is this true? This is not true. Uh, you know, our hair undergoes various uh, phases of growth called anagen, catagen, telogen. At any point of time, around 10 to 15 percent of our hair follicles are in the anagen phase. This is the only phase at which the hair can actually get targeted and go off. Uh, that's why you require sessions in laser hair removal. So normally we do six to nine sessions, six to eight sessions, depending from person to person. But so every session, like I said, you go on seeing a difference. Another thing to understand is always darker the hair and thicker the hair, better the results. So for areas like, you know, underarms or bikini, um, those are the best areas to get results of. Um, if you have very, very fine hair, it's not the most ideal thing to undergo a laser, honestly. But okay. wherever the hair causes a concern or it's visible, right, for to, to people around you um, very easily, that is the best area which responds. Um, also, what happens is, um, you know, laser always goes towards a darker object. So what happens is because the hair is darker than the skin, that's why uh, the laser hair removal is actually effective. So if suppose someone has white hair, it's not effective at all because no laser in the world works on white hair. But okay. like I said, darker the hair, thicker the hair, always better the results. So always mm -hmm. when you consider laser removal, also you should do it uh, at an earlier stage. So people at 
a later stage in life, like 60, 65 also might think, but if the hair has already become white, it's very difficult uh, for any technology to reduce those hairs off. But like, and you know, today also with waxing and threading and the amount of time and money it actually takes because you have to do it regularly and every month and stuff like that. So this actually becomes a, a very simple solution to actually get rid of unwanted hair. Um, also, I would like to add that you know, Urban Company has done this at home. So basically the in-house clinic experience is actually replaced now with the at-home experience. So that mm. has been a game changer. And so many people have now started doing it more and more, right? Because they understand, because, you know, like I said, the doctor uh, consults with a, with a client and is there to handhold the whole journey. That's very similar to the experience in a clinic because in the clinic also one doctor is involved with the, with the client while a therapist does the same uh, therapy in a room right so the same Correct. thing is just that the room is your own house so basically it's much more convenient for you and like I said so it makes a lot more sense it's actually a lot more economical as well if you do the maths uh, over time and that's where the laser removal is is growing at a very very rapid uh, rapid pace in this field especially at home understood 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 doctor so okay that's very interesting so as you mentioned it's not one session because you said that the hair is growing at different stages and so you have to have six to nine sessions that means you have to uh, go out of your house to the clinic six to nine times right so if that right. happens at home uh, with urban company at the comfort of your home i think nothing nothing can beat that and as doctor mentioned uh, you know you have doctors very similar to the way that they have in clinic there's a doctor to handle you there are experienced uh, aesthetic and therapists who have, um, you know, uh, years of experience in the skincare industry. Uh, I think this, it's, it's, it's a great option, especially if you have to go through, if you have like six to nine sessions. So that does, that does make sense. Great. Okay. Yes, doctor. Also, sorry, also, Tohin, I would like to add, you know, there is a gap between the sessions for the same reason. So because okay. the hair is in anagen and right, that hair to change takes around 30 days time. So that's why when we do one session, we at least give a 30 days gap before the next session mm -hmm. because we want more and more hair to actually turn into the anagen phase so we can target the next set of hair growing in the anagen phase. So you do one session, then you have a minimum 30 days ideal gap before the second session and the third session. And then the gap goes on increasing because firstly, you don't see so much hair growth. Like the hair is decreasing after every session. And essentially, yes. because we want to target it in the right cycle, so then that gap goes on increasing. So overall, you know, when you do around six to eight sessions, it actually is done over probably a time period of a year or so. It's not something okay. which you can, you know, because I saw a question which said, can we do it every two weeks? You can't do it every two weeks because it won't be very effective. And we are basically doing it for the best results. So for the mm. best results, it's essential to keep that time gap. So essentially, mm. we go on targeting the hair at every phase and go on reducing it off. Okay, okay, okay. So that's very interesting, ladies. It's not just that your hair uh, is permanently removed in uh, one session, as doctor mentioned, there's growth cycle of your hair. But then it, you know, after every session, the time increases because your hair growth actually grows uh, lighter and it, it's lesser. So, you know, I think you start seeing visible, not completely, but you know, you start seeing visible results uh, come in through, through, throughout your journey. So that's interesting. Great, great. Um, okay, uh, doctor, I see a lot more questions pouring in. I think let's take a few more questions from our audience as well. Uh, yes. Okay. So Kushbu is asking, is laser hair reduction good for health wise? You know, it's, uh, I don't think it's about health actually. So it's not really about being good or bad for you. It is just so much convenience, right? Like I said, and today that convenience from urban companies available at home. So basically you are saving time. I won't say it will improve or, or deteriorate your health at all. So it's not about health. It's basically about convenience. It's about getting rid of unwanted hair, which you never wanted. Understood, understood. So I think Kushbu, what doctor is trying to say is, uh, you know, it your health is up to you, but nothing happens to your skin. If that is what you're worried about, it is absolutely safe. And as doctor said, Urban Company uses US FDA approved machines, which make it even more safer and painless for you. Uh, so nothing to worry on that front. Yes. Okay, let's take the next question. Okay, Honey is asking, do does hot water showers affect the laser hair reduction process in any way? I think she means if you are, you know, in between sessions or, yeah. No, it doesn't. Uh, so showers or anything else which you do, right, does not really affect laser hair reduction. Uh, okay. You know, when we come for a session, normally we see the hair growth. The hair is shaven off in that area. A gel is hmm. applied and then the laser is done for that particular area. 
right hmm. so it's important that you don't do waxing or threading in between the sessions because we want to see the hair growth a lot of people hmm. just also use like a like a razor and just shave the hair off which is fine hmm. so even if hmm. you have shaven the hair in that area that's not a ha- that's not a uh, which affects the laser hair removal process because i saw a question for that so basically if you understand what happens right a hair is there which is there in the skin and then there is a follicle which goes inside the skin there is a hair bulb surrounding it and from that every month the hair is keeps on growing so basically when you hmm. do like a threading or, or a waxing you are essentially just removing that hair out but the hair bulb is still inside from that hair hmm. bulb the next set of hair starts to grow that is why when you do waxing or threading there is a continuous hair growth which keeps on happening with a laser when you do a laser hmm. session what happens is uh, you are actually targeting the hair bulb so you want to basically make the bulb not mm-hmm. produce any more hair and that's how the laser hair removal actually works right like i mm-hmm. said so the hair bulb which is in anagen phase that goes off every time you do the laser okay so um, whatever like i said anything like hot water showers cold water showers that's nothing to do with laser hair removal at all uh, basically you should not be waxing or threading in between sessions for a best result you can shave off if required that does not also hamper it in any way okay okay got it got it so i think the only thing we need to be careful as doctor post uh, you know doctor told us is that don't wax um or use an ablator you can shave because we need the roots uh, for the next sessions which can be targeted this is for your better result right so i think uh, Uh, that's but hot shots are absolutely fine uh, okay okay doctor so actually i see a i actually saw a comment from meena meghani she asked a question that will i get a brief rundown about the process by the urban company expert before starting the process yes of course you will so what happens is the moment you book a consultation on the app right or book a session on the app a doctor is assigned to you who basically calls up and discusses your case with you in depth and detail taking all your history and all the information which we need to do like customized parameters for your case so all the parameters are customized case to case and that's the reason we have a team of doctors who are involved who basically get involved in every person who try who undergoes a hair removal with urban company at home so at that time when you're on the call all your doubts are answered and you are free to ask any doubts you want at any point of time during your whole session during the whole treatment because normally people always tend to you know take packages of six sessions or nine sessions you know because that is the amount of sessions which you do need for the hair removal process to be complete and to be more effective so a complete rundown is given uh, not once but the amount of times which you want it it's always explained to you so you have no doubts at all you know when you decide to sign up with the urban company for the hair removal at home great great i think meena it must be a relief for you uh, urban company you know they provide a uh, doctor consultation as doctor said throughout the journey so before you start the journey between your sessions you'll get all your questions answered great uh, okay so moving on to the next myth uh, but before that ladies uh, you know there is the uh, link for urban company laser hair reduction um, app uh, pinned in the comment please go and do check it out all the services and any questions you have you'll find answers there okay okay doctor so the next myth is that laser hair reduction can cause permanent dryness to my skin Oh, absolutely not uh, you know laser hair removal like i said right uh, it's been around for 30 years now and there have never been any reported cases of dryness because it's got actually if you think scientifically right there's nothing which can actually cause dryness to you by doing a laser a laser is just a light so the way you see light around you you know if hmm. you just take one wavelength of light give it energy that's essentially what a laser is and basically okay. this light of 808 nanometers wavelength and we use a triple wavelength which is a more specialized device at urban company so basically we use that device which is this light which is only meant for laser hair removal so it's only meant for laser hair reduction and that's how it works um so yeah so so no question of that yeah okay great so nothing to worry about dryness i think uh, uh, that's one myth a lot of people have uh, because you know i think doctor a lot of people do not have the understanding about you know laser hair reduction and hence so many questions do pop up so it's great to hear that nothing to uh, worry about absolutely and as doctor mentioned open company uses uh, the best in class us fda approved laser machines so which uh, make it absolutely 100% safe for everybody
Uh, okay, doctor. Uh, so another very popular myth is that people think that laser hair reduction is very expensive. So doctor, if you could tell us, you know, a little bit about how does the costing work, you know, depending on the number of sessions, because, you know, uh, uh, waxing is 500, 600 rupees. And then, you know, people see laser and they think it's very expensive. You know, initially laser hair removal, uh, so, you know, of course, expense is very relative to a person, right? But uh, essentially, when laser hair removal first came out, it used to cost a few lakhs to actually get it done. Today, it is a lot, lot more economical, especially I think Urban Company has actually changed the whole pricing game. Uh, today, it costs, I believe, um, below 50,000 for you to do six sessions, right? So it okay. actually is so cost effective now that, you know, it's a lot cheaper than waxing or threading in the long run. So, of right. course, Urban Company's app is there. And if you look at that, you know, you'll see so many various options of doing it. And that would actually yes. give you a great idea of pricing because there are numerous pricing for me to explain in this session. But, <laughs> but if you just, you know, and I think we have provided a link for them. If they just press the link and yes. if they look at the, all the different pricing. Also, one great thing of Urban Company is that we have actually given trial sessions as well. So you pay huh. a minimum amount of money and you can actually experience the session at home. So it actually okay. will clear up all your doubts and post that, you know, after experiencing that is when you can actually decide whether, you know, you want to go ahead, but most people do. Uh, but yes. I think that's also a great way to figure out. And actually, once you experience the process, you'll actually understand how simple it is. And uh, it's not so complicated anymore. So like I said, the pricing game in laser removal has completely changed. And today it is extremely affordable for most people to consider doing it. And um, I think, yeah, if you just do the cost calculations, you realize how effective it is. Right, doctor. Right. Understood. So I think, doctor, as you pointed out, that Urban Company is providing a full body six session for less than 50,000 uh, compared to that the lakhs that, you know, one individual does pay. pay. So if, if we actually think about uh, laser hair reduction, you know, it's a permanent solution. So you're just paying for six sessions and then, you know, you're done um, as compared to waxing, which will be a threading, which will be a lifelong uh, game. So you'll be paying every month those services. So that absolutely does make sense. Um, and as doctor pointed out to our audience you know we uh, we've uh, pinned the link to the urban company app where you can go and check out the laser hair reduction page and as doctor said uh, that you know there are a lot of trial sessions for you to try for you to experience um, at very inexpensive cost uh, with doctor consultation i think there's everything available and that too is happening in the comfort of your home and as doctor said it's it's affordable as well. So I think, uh, you know, all of us should go and at least book one trial and, you know, uh, check out the service and experience it for ourselves. Great. Um, okay. So, you know, Dr. While we're talking, the questions are just pouring in. So I think let's just, let's take a few more questions from our audience. Sure. Uh, you know, yeah. Okay. So Dr. Praveen, uh, Parveen is asking, how long does one laser hair reduction process last? You know, so it completely depends on which area you're doing it as well. So, hmm. for example, an underarms might just actually take 10 or 15 minutes of time to actually do it, while a full body might take between two to four hours, again, depending from person to person and, you know, the kind of hair growth and which all areas we are targeting. Uh, essentially, you need to do six to nine sessions normally. And hmm. post that, you might do one session as a maintenance after a few months, right, just to maintain hmm. the result of, which is hmm. required in a few people, not in everyone. So okay. to do six sessions, like I said, it takes around a year's time. And mm. if you're doing like a full body, it will probably take you around, you know, between two and four hours every time you do it. Right. And that that's the time which is involved. So every session, like I saw a few questions as well, every session, the hair goes on reducing off. So you actually start seeing the results from the first session itself. And like hmm. I said, it's a US FDA approved machine, an Indian FDA approved machine. So essentially, uh, safety is absolutely paramount for urban company as well. And we want to make everything safe and effective. And that's the whole USP of our treatments. And that's what we aim to do. Okay, great, great. Uh, okay, so uh, Parveen, I think that answers the question that uh, it for, for a body part, like the doctor said, uh, underarms, it just costs, it's just for 15 minutes, which is actually, uh, you know, it's 15 minutes is quite less time to get your service done and as doctor mentioned that maintenance session are some people but doctor you know once i have for example if i have taken an underarm session uh, i have taken six sessions um uh, and if <clears throat> i have to go for a maintenance session what does the time period for the maintenance session look like it really varies from person to person like you know uh, it also depends on medical issues for example some people have a condition called pcod 
uh, where basically it's a polycystic ovarian disorder or a PCOS, which is a syndrome. So what happens is, you know, it's important that you are taking your own treatment for those conditions as well with your own gynecologist or your own doctor or whoever you choose to. Um, even if you have any medical condition like PCOD or PCOS, uh, hair removal, laser removal goes on, right? Mm -hmm. So because you're basically doing those sessions to reduce of the hair which you already have, but at the same time, simultaneously, if you take care of your own health and if you solve off any medical issues which might be leading to the hair growth, so it will always help you to get better outcomes and better results. So most people would not even require a maintenance session because the kind of hair which comes post, you know, six or eight sessions or nine sessions is very comfortable for them. And it's not something which bothers them. But mm -hmm. so that depends from an individual to an individual and all the thicker hair actually all goes off. So basically, that's how the laser removal works. Um, so, you know, and underarms and bikini, like I said, they're the best areas to do a laser hair removal because you'll have very, very uh, good results, which you appreciate every time. And today, you know, with Urban Company at home, so it's something which you should definitely try out. Absolutely. Absolutely, doctor. I think, uh, uh, as doctor said, you know, six to eight sessions and after that you are free. Uh, just depending on, you know, everybody has different different bodies. So your hair growth pattern is different. But a session, maintaining session, maybe just one or two through the year, which is great. So you're permanently done. And as doctor, you said, with Urban Company at home, it's just even more convenient. Uh, right. Yes. OK. So let's move on to the another uh, to another audience question, please. OK. So Ritu is asking, are there any medical tests required before I sign up for laser hair reduction at Urban Company? So there are no medical tests which are required. Obviously, you know, uh, your that part of journey with medical tests and all goes on with normal life as it is, right? So when the doctor discusses your own case with you, and suppose the doctor feels that maybe you might have a predisposition towards PCOD or PCOS or something, and that's obviously something which you take up with your own gynecologist. It's, it's not mm -hmm. something which we would actually guide you on, but it's basically mm -hmm. just part of the process, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there are no medical tests required at all because even at clinics, we don't do any medical tests before you sign up for laser hair reduction. So the yeah. same protocols everywhere uh, apply, the gold standard protocols, which are in the US or in India as well, the same protocols we use when we're doing this treatment with Urban Company at home. So okay. there are no medical tests required at all. It's something which you can definitely like, you know, just decide and go for. Like I said, if you have not waxed or threaded that area, you know, at least for 15 days or 20 days where you're starting to see hair growth again in that area, that's a time when you can sign up and go for a session. Great, great. Okay, Ritu. So I think the only thing you need to not, you need to do is you need not wax or uh, you know use epilator thread in the area where you get want to get laser reduction done from urban company just book your service and as doctor said uh, you know there will be a doctor assigned to you you can have your conversation and if there is any need that they feel for you to get any uh, test done uh, you know that's something they can do but no sign up no 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 you know medical test to be done before uh, uh, taking any service from urban company uh, laser hair reduction. Okay, let's take uh, one more um, audience question. Okay, so Yogita is asking, how long can I expose my skin to the sun in between my laser hair sessions? You know, uh, irrespective of whether you do a laser or not, it's not a, such a great idea to expose your uh, skin to hair, uh, skin to sun anyways, right? So yes. uh, like normal precautions which you would take like a sunscreen, that's what the same thing which you would do. Obviously, when you do a laser hair removal, you know, you might be more careful for the week post doing the session, but you should always use sun protection irrespective of whether you choose to do a laser hair removal or not, right? So it's important to take care um, of your skin by applying a sunscreen, moisturizer, etc. So that, that part stays the same, that part continues, that doesn't change. Um, you can do a normal sun exposure the same way like you've been doing before. So there is no difference at all uh, with that. Yes. Okay, okay. So, okay, thank you, Dr. Amit. I think, Yogita, uh, uh, as the doctor said, you know, you, you should apply sunscreen. I think everybody should take care of their skin and apply sunscreen. But uh, post laser reduction, as the doctor said, you should just be a little careful. And I think if you're getting the service done from Urban Company, it's happening at your home. So there is no uh, scare. You should not be worried about the sun, sun exposure, right, doctor, if you're, you, you're at home. Yeah, Tohina, and just to add to this, right, uh, also post the session, a whole set of instructions are given to the client. And like I said, okay. the doctor is involved. So if you want to speak to the doctor again, post the session, the doctor is very much involved. But the complete set of instructions are given. 
and uh, they are very very simple to follow so it's not really uh, it doesn't change your life in any way honestly uh, everything remains the same i also saw a couple of questions uh, regarding um, uh, so there is a noticeable change after every session of hair removal like i said so even after the post the first session you do see a difference um, mm. it's not that you need to do the full set of sessions and only then you see a difference every session you will see you should see a 10 to 15% hair reduction you'll also see the hairs becoming thinner as it used mm. to be also mm. laser hair removal is actually a lot less painful than waxing you know uh, waxing is something which is uh, quite painful but uh, compared to that laser hair removal like we discussed before uh, is more like a warm massage in that area as compared to anything else because you're not actually pulling anything off right yes. so basically you're applying a cold gel and then you're doing the laser in that part which and the laser energy is getting absorbed with the hair bulb inside so yes. basically it's just like a warm massage today it's not pain in any way so it's called pain free laser hair removal with urban company at home so you know that's how it works great great okay great so i think uh, uh, okay so guys that as doctor mentioned that an ice cool gel is used so it's cool it feels feels like a warm massage unlike waxing it's not painful and then it's happening at your home uh, there is a doctor to guide you throughout so i urge everyone to you know uh, go to the co- comment section uh, we've pinned the link for urban company laser hair reduction app and go and check out all the services that they have Okay, so moving on to a question from my end. This is the last question from my end, and then we can pick up more audience questions. Ah, uh, so the question here is that uh, doctor does laser reduction cause ingrown hair? Because that's a problem women face with waxing. No, it's a solution for ingrown hair. Ah, uh, so hair removal initially also when it came out was considered like a gold standard for taking care of ingrown hair. Because okay. if you understand, the hair is actually going inside, right? That's ingrown hair. So when we shave mm-hmm. off, whatever hair is inside just pops out post the session. So Absolutely. for ingrown hair, in fact, there's no other solution than laser hair removal. So it's a it's a great, amazing solution for ingrown hair, and that's something which you actually see even in a couple of sessions. Your that problem will go down greatly. So uh, you do like you, like literally, I'm telling you, even in the first session, you'll see a difference with the ingrown hair and any kind of pigmentation that you have as well. So the pigmentation okay. also post a couple of sessions starts to go down. and ingrown hair goes down drastically after the sessions okay okay so that's great to hear you know a laser hair reduction so, so the benefits of laser hair reduction obviously is permanent hair reduction but as doctor you pointed out that it helps in ingrown hair you know removing ingrown hair uh, and also removing pigmentation so that's that's very interesting i think that is something new that i have uh, i have learned today okay um let's pick up a few more uh, audience questions uh, before we end this very interesting uh, session okay so we have smita who has used uc laser lounge uh, uh, as the hashtag with the question her question is does this hair removal treatment also work in facial hair yes of course in fact uh, you know uh, for facial hair is one of the again one of the most common areas where people do it so especially upper lip and chin uh, extended chin uh, side locks so actually the whole lower face that's a very very common area so i think post underarms i think is the most common area where people opt for a laser hair removal because obviously your face is uh, you know like your shine is is your glory right so people looking at you are always looking at your face right Yes. So uh, you know, the, always the idea is uh, for everyone to keep it very clean and to have it in its best shape and form, right? So um, laser hair removal works great on the face. Uh, again, I'll say you know, if you have very fine hair, then uh, hair removal is not something which might be very useful for you. But if mm-hmm. the hair is in a way where it bothers you, right, or it starts to mm-hmm. be seen to other people, that is the time where you actually treat it. And in fact, always thicker the hair, always better the results for sure. So. thicker the hair darker the hair better the results um, urban company has a great machine a us fda indian fda approved machine which can get rid of it safely mm-hmm. and today the same experience you get in a clinic which in the best of clinics is the same best experience which you get at home as well so yeah that's that's what i would uh, advise to actually consider doing it and if you still have doubts do like a trial session experience it and post you know you are satisfied with it then go for it Great, great, great! I hope Smita that answers your question. You can definitely go ahead with your facial, you know, for your facial hair removal. As doctor said, if it's visible to the human eye, uh, 
please do go ahead you can go to the urban company uh, app and you can book a trial session of for facial uh, have a consultation with the dermatologist and then go ahead and book the uh, six sessions with urban company as well great um okay so let's move on uh, with the next question from the audience Oh, we have Zenab also who has used UC Laser Lounge. So that's great. Uh, okay, what is the approximate cost of this treatment? I think Dr. Yud answered this, but if you could for her benefit, you know, just let her know that again. You know, um, so like I said, cost varies from part to part. So it's difficult for me to give out any kind of cost. But for the latest I saw, right, recently I was just checking it. And uh, for us, I think we have further reduced the prices now, but for a full six sessions of the full body laser removal, it's, I think it's just below 50,000 bucks. Uh, so that's the cost. Uh, you can also choose for uh, specific areas as well. So, you know, you could choose for underarms or bikini or legs, arms, but a full body normally works out a lot more economical and it's, it's a lot more, you know, uh, what people opt for. So, um, again, if you just click the link, I believe, which is given over here and you just go through the whole pricing list, it will give you various options. We also have some trial sessions offers, which which start, I believe, from even 49 rupees, where you can actually opt for a body part and do that. You can just go through the app to look at the various pricing. And then, you know, you can decide on which part you would like to start with. Great, great, cool. So I think, Zainab, you can, you know, as Dr. said, you can go to the comment section where the link to the Urban Company's uh, application uh, laser reduction app page is there. You can click on it and there you can find all the prices. They are as per, you know, different body parts and different combinations. So whatever you're looking for. But as Dr. mentioned, a full body succession laser, which is quite high outside is just below 50,000 uh, uh, in urban company. And then you have a lot of trial sessions also starting at triple nine uh, for you to go and check out Zenab. So let's do that. Okay, so before we end the session, just one last question we'll take from our audience. So Pari is asking, what type of products can I apply to keep my skin moisturized even though I'm undergoing laser hair reduction? You would just apply your normal products which you are applying. So nothing changes really with the routine of products. Obviously, mm -hmm. post the session, there are certain products which we might suggest for you to apply for a couple of days or three days. But post that, you just apply your normal moisturizer, whatever else you have been applying on or using before that. So there is no change in the routine of products which you use. So uh, everything remains the same. There's no change at all. Uh, uh, just you might use like a cream for uh, two or three days post the procedure. But then you would go back to whatever you have been using. Okay, great, great. Okay, so Pari, uh, I think that answers your question. Uh, there'll be, you know, certain moisturizers that moisturize or creams that'll be prescribed by Urban Company uh, to you post your laser hair reduction session. But after that, you can go ahead and continue with the skin, uh, you know, moisturizing regime that you have for yourself that suits you. Uh, but as Dr. Pointer just Keep yourself moisturized. Use sunscreen. That is something the doctor had rehydrated before as well. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our session. Uh, ladies, before the session ends, the link is pinned um, uh, to the Urban Company app for laser hair reduction. Please do go check out all your questions. All the questions you have over here will actually get answered in the application as well. Otherwise, there's a doctor's consultation, which you can book just for 49 rupees and then, you know, go ahead and book your session as well. Um, so thank you so much, Dr. Amit. You have really, truly enlightened us with such great knowledge, uh, which will be extremely uh, beneficial to everyone uh, who is considering um, getting laser hair reduction. Uh, so thank you so much doctor for taking out time and helping the audience answer the you know answer the audience questions. sure sure Tuina, thank you so much uh, just i would just like to add over here i saw just the last couple of session uh, questions actually so you can yes. all skin types and all uh, sensitive skin or whatever kind of skin you have you can definitely go for the procedure there are no restrictions with that like i said a doctor is there to handhold you out through the whole process and the same doctor actually continues your whole journey so essentially, it's something which Urban Company has done at home. And basically, it has really just simplified the same process which you do at clinics. So I think uh, you should consider, you know, getting it done for especially parts which bother you and get rid of that unwanted hair. Yeah. So thanks, Tuina, so much uh, for the thank session. You. And thank you to the audience as well for all the questions. Thank you, Dr. Amit. And thank you to the audience. Thank you for joining in. Uh, thank you. All right.